it's Randy Moss again um, we're gonna get into our Dutch bucket system today um, I had talked to everybody earlier about it that I was gonna put a video on uh, telling you how to set up Dutch buckets but here's my setup I have uh, uh, 30 Dutch buckets outside uh, along with my aquaponics that I have inside I have another 14 inside and there's my um, the hangers there for the trellis for my tomato plants all these some of these gonna be tomatoes some of them is gonna be I'm gonna put some squa a couple of squash out there in them uh, gonna have um, some eggplant um, but most of them for most parts gonna be uh, uh, tomatoes but I uh, want to go into a little bit more detail about how to set them up and everything that you need to do it with uh, we go back to we've got those um, uh, trellises same ones I have inside that we talked about earlier and um, and then I'm gonna get into the details of the of the Dutch bucket uh, these Dutch buckets uh, um, they're very large they're um, a little over a gallon uh, each uh, you see I have one emitter in in each one um, this uh, black tubing that you see running uh, right here that's um, that the uh, Dutch uh, that the uh, water spitted is uh, attached to that's just your typical irrigation drip irrigation system uh, you can buy them at any of your local stores that handle any kind of irrigation stuff uh, I like these these are um, a um, um, Mr. Mr. Uh, steak they are uh, I, what I like about them they are adjustable from uh, zero to ten gallons uh, an hour so it gives you a lot of versatility on um, how many gallons that you need you know some plants need a lot and tomatoes need a good bit but uh, eggplants and different other things do not need as much water so it gives you a lot of versatility and I basically just uh, took mine and this is a inch and a half um, a piece of PVC pipe and what you do is you can see get in here a little bit closer you see this object right here this is um, a little spout that's on these Dutch buckets and uh, and what you do is you drill you a three-quarter inch hole into the pipe but it's very critical to make you understand that you have to be perfectly straight they can't be laid over to an angle or anything like that you need to be very careful when you put your pipe together to make absolutely sure that you are drill, you're drilling your holes exactly on the top because if they're leaning over a little bit or whatever then uh, you'll have some drainage problems they'll want to drain out the sides and you and they'll leak your system down very quickly and um, but this basically just sticks down it's got a little spout it basically sticks right down in that three quarter inch hole and that's where this bucket right here is going to drain out and it and it works uh, very good uh, you just have to make sure that your holes and everything are lined up right and uh, and you basically just uh, I put mine two feet apart that's a pretty much a standard for tomatoes or anything like that uh, you place them about two foot it gives you plenty of room to uh, move around and everything and what I've done is I on my last bucket I come in here and made a just a nanny and then it goes straight into my th container and it's basically just a container like you buy at a uh, Walmart or anything like that and um, the pump that you see down in here is basically just a 250 gallon uh, an hour pump well you do the math um, and uh, it is it'll be very sufficient for uh, about 30 tomato plants at five or six gallons a minute you very much so going to be covered on that and what I basically what we did is so this pump right here it comes off it comes into I got a T right here and what this right here is this runs straight outside onto the ground onto a line and what I've done right there uh, occasionally about every two or three weeks you'll want to dump this water because it'll get filled up and contaminated with salts and different things and this right here is going to allow me to use the same pump to drain this 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 container out where I don't have to dip it out or worry with it and I've got it turned off right now and I'm just fixing to put this in operation it's not quite time to put tomatoes outside yet but I got another two or three weeks and I'll be putting them out I've already grown them inside and uh, but this right here is basically it just hooks up this line right here is running straight over 
to my uh, right and it goes straight down the line to uh, another row and then it comes back into a T and comes right back into this tank and then it comes right back out of here on this side makes an L does the same thing right there and I'm gonna, I'm gonna fill this up with gravel right in between them and then I've got two sides right there I've got 30 different plants and they're going to uh, be easily accessed um, from one one row and um, but to me it's just very important to have all this stuff where it's convenient and it's uh, easy to get to because you're gonna have times when you gotta drain your system that's gonna make it very easy and uh, and simple to drain out and uh, but uh, Dutch buckets are, are a great thing a great way to grow if you want to do something that's simple and it's not real complicated you basically just run your lines like you see right there off of your pump you just um, um, attach them with uh, um, um, wire or whatever you want to do to your pipe is what I've done where it would hold on the pipe real easy um, I just use some plastic tie, uh, ties and uh, and then you just basically uh, take them and uh, uh, fill them up with the brown gravel like I've suggested in the past what I found that's really very good just fill it up with brown gravel and make sure your holes are completely lined up on top and then it's pretty much a no-brainer uh, you get your chemicals and um, and I have got a great fertilizer that I'm going to share with everybody uh, in, an, uh, in an upcoming video very soon. I, when I actually mix it up, I'm going to uh, go through it all. Uh, you don't have to buy the high dollar uh, hydroponic fertilizers or anything like that. It's very, very cheap. It'll cost you about two or three cents a gallon to uh, make this fertilizer. And you don't have to spend the money of buying all this liquid and, and paying the shipping on getting the liquid uh, shipped to you and everything like that. And, uh, and I will give you all that information coming up on one very soon about how to make the fertilizer to use in hydroponics. But this is my hydroponic garden outside and uh, gives you a pretty good description of how the Dutch buckets operate. Notice that's an inch and a half pipe. Drill your holes ever two uh, feet apart. Get you just some plastic uh, half inch, um, just some just a plastic tub, um, drip line, uh, tubing like you buy it anywhere, and get you some uh, uh, eighth of an inch rubber hoe leads, and um, and then get you some of those little Mister stakes or whatever you want. You can get any kind of dripper to put on there, but I like those. They're like a, I think they're called Mister um, uh, Mister and and you just uh, get those and, and they're adjustable and um, and you can find them online or you can find them at um, um, any of your uh, Lowe's or stores or anything like that they carry them um, you can buy all the drip irrigation system at Lowe's that's where I got all of mine uh, it's a very simple place to go get them and uh, I like the stakes They're a little bit higher than some of the other things but you can use them on a, an array of different plants and um, but anyway, that uh, that pretty much uh, covers the uh, the Dutch buckets. And uh, and like I said, if you have any questions or anything, uh, you can subscribe to my channel. I'm going to have uh, lots more uh, videos coming to you. Uh, the fertilizer is going to be very interesting. I've got a, um, a very good uh, if you're into hydroponic uh, aquaponics. I've um, I'm developing a heater that you use a hot water heater element in it. It's one of the neatest things you'll ever see. Uh, I'll be putting it up uh, very, very soon. Um, getting all the components for it right now. And uh, it's my own design and I'll be glad to share that with everybody very soon. But um, wish you luck and if you got any questions, feel free to email me. Um, the email address is on the screen and I look forward to talking to you.